Hey guys, you ever tried in fly fishing? And today we're going to be tying a little snook fly. It's called the squibster. Um, it's a very cool, small little pattern that pushes water because of the brush I'm about to use in it. And we're going to get started on it right now. So in the vise today, I have a Tiemco 811S in a size four. And I'm just going to use some mono thread. And I'm going to create a small base here. And then I'm going to put my eyes on. Um, for eyes, I have medium bead chain eyes in black. And I'm just going to take a quick measurement. I want my eyes to be uh, roughly two eye diameters back. Um, you could vary that up a tiny bit. So I'm just going to throw a figure eight wrap over this and then come underneath. I'm going to tie this down real well and I'm going to sneak some UV cure epoxy under here too. So I'm not really worried about these going anywhere. Cool. So the next material I'm going to tie in is going to be the tail. So I'm going to grab a matchstick size chunk. Or roughly that. I have a little light here, so I'm just going to cut it in half. Keep it square. Uh, we're not going to taper this. And I'm going to tie it in so that it's roughly a hook shank and a half in length. Hanging out the back. So that's about my measurement there. Um, this isn't massively important. But you do want to get it close to length. This is going to help with fouling on this fly. So guys, we are giving this fly away. Um, so comment below. We'll choose somebody from the comments. Um, comment what you want us to tie next, what you think of the fly, or count how many times I say okie doke. <laughs> Alrighty. So next step here is going to be to kick this up a little bit. So I'm going to throw two wraps underneath and then a wrap around. Um, I'm also going to tie this down with some UV cure. Um, I'm going to use Loon, and I have it in thin. I'm just going to get under here and get this going and just put a tiny bit around the post here. Um, I really like this method because it's where I want it, but I, if it wasn't, I could come in here and just hold it at the correct angle, hit it with my light real quick, and it's not going anywhere. So the next thing I'm going to tie in is going to be some white marabou. Um, you could definitely change the colors up on these. But this fly is more or less just a small bait fish pattern, rain bait. So it's supposed to be, you know, semi-translucent. It's good for light disdained water. So I'm just going to come in here and break the tip off my marabou. Grab a good chunk with some nice long thin fibers. And then I'm going to take a measurement. And my measurement is going to be slightly shorter than this um, SF blend. So right about there. So after I do that, I'm just going to come up here, tie it down right behind the eyes, and then come back with it. And I want to make sure that I get it all the way back, right to my little tail there. Cool. So I'm going to trim this marabou off, and I like to twist it, and then come in here and just snip it clean. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of flash. And I'm just going to use crystal flash and pearl. Um, you could use whatever you prefer for flash. I like crystal flash. It's easy to work with. So I just doubled it over. I've um, a single strand doubled over and then folded in half. So I have four strands in here. Um, for a length on this, you want it to be, you know, somewhere just shy of the tail. Okie doke. So let me make sure that's right on top of my hook shank. Um, I'm going to tie another plume of marabou in. Same thing. I'm just going to grab a nice fluffy one. Uh, you got to pick through your marabou. So I'm going to take a measurement here and I want this one to extend a little bit less than the last one just so I build a tiny bit of taper in here. So same thing right on top, bring it back. I'm going to again make sure I get it tied down all the way back and then do that same thing, twist it off, come in here, trim it clean. All right, so we're going to bring our thread back all the way here. Just going to take a quick look, make sure everything's on top of the hook shank. Okay. So for the body of this fly, and this makes it super, super simple, I just have a tarantula brush, one inch in white. So I'm going to tie this in 
wrap, wrap, and then wrap around. And then I'm going to bring this forward and fold my little piece of wire back so I don't have to cut it off. Cover that up. And again, I'm going to make sure this brush is tied all the way back. And leave my thread. So what I like to do is come up here and spread this brush out just to make sure that I'm not going to trap anything when I wrap this. And I will pull this back slightly as I wrap. So the first wrap is important. I'm just going to make sure it's where I want it to be and it's set. And it is. I'm going to take some open spiraling wraps. You can definitely dress this a little thick. So just be aware of that. Um, don't count wraps, but just get them nice and open. And then one more. And then this one here, I'm going to kind of split these fibers so I can get a clean tie off point. And then I'm just going to sneak my thread down in there. Okay. I'm just checking to see what I trapped here. Pull some stuff back. I'll take a couple wraps in front, wrap behind. And then, so I don't have to cut this, I'm just going to helicopter this thing off. And because it's a twisted wire, it does take a little bit. But one, it'll save your scissors, and two, you won't get a hard break point so that you don't have a sharp piece of wire sticking up that could potentially cut your leader. Anything that's kind of... You can either just pull this off or cut this anything that's errant here. Cool. And I like to come back a little bit and reinforce this through my eyes. And then I'm just going to build a little head. Um, head is not important. I just think it cleans up the fly a little bit. And then I'm going to whip finish. And Because it's mono, I'm going to throw another one in there. Okie doke. So the next thing I'm going to do is just grab some more Loon UV in thin. And I'm just going to come in here and just coat everything. Um, sneak it in the eyes a little bit. You don't want to get it into your brush, but you do want to cover everything up. That looks good. So I'm just going to hit this with the light, cure it, and that's pretty much it. Um, great little fly. Small profile, but it does push water because of the rubber legs in the brush. All right, guys, that's it. Um, the Squibster, great little pattern. Uh, pushes a lot of water for how small it is. Has a correct profile and easy to tie. Guys, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified of all of our future fly tying videos, and we'll see you next time.